Hello and welcome to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on so that you can get the notification about my new tutorials. Hello and welcome to another exciting video today. Um, today we are going to look at how to extend Kali Linux root partition. And just before I start, I would like to let you know that if you are running Kali Linux with primary and extended um, partitions, then you need to know, first of all, this video would be talking about um, in terms of the partitioning you have. If you have um, extended partition overlapping, like which is just next to your primary partition, which is like currently in my case, my root partition is SD1, which is 10 gig. And in my case, I have another primary partition over here, but I would like to increase my root partition. Um, so in that case, this video is not for you because I'm not going to talk about extended partition overlapping this primary partition. So if I, I would like to do that, then I, I have to do another video tutorial. I'm not going to talk about that. Currently, I'm going to talk about if you would like to extend your root partition um, provided you do not have extended partition overlapping or just connecting next to it and you have extra space over here then this video is for you so how you can check which partition are you currently running at you just need to come into Kali Linux run gparted utility which is called gparted over here and of course using that you will be able to see how your partitioning are. In my case currently I have two primary partitions. One of them is root which is 10 GB and another primary partition is 39 GB. My extended partition is 975 MB. For my tutorial purpose I have kept it like this. Otherwise what I can do is I can simply um, change this partitioning size from here and uh, I can just simply apply but of course before doing that I need to turn off my swap and I just need to go into this partition where I'll resize it for example I'll just resize it to 30 or 31 GB and I'll just um, change the size over here now if you see this has completed and now my um, okay uh, this is unallocated space what I'm going to do now is I am going to change this partition which I have over here I'll try to resize over here but if you see I can just simply drag this over here and now this partition will become Okay. okay and you see now my extended partition is increased but this is not a matter of discussion today I am not going to talk about this for now uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend my root partition to do that of course while running an operating system I cannot do it so the easiest way to do is um, first of all, you need one utility called gparted ISO, which you can simply download uh, from a website and it is freely available to download. So you can just simply go to google.com. To let you know this is my virtual machine, I am running this in my virtual lab where I will be doing it. So just I am going to go accept risk and go to google.com. Over here I am going to write G parted ISO. So I will get this first link from where I can download the G parted ISO and of course once I'll get this departed ISO I need to mount this ISO to my Kali Linux 
machine if it's a physical machine of course then you need to have a physical uh, um, CD-ROM uh, through which you are going to do it so if you see over here my G parted is basically connected already and I have connected it to this now the next step would be to reboot my Kali Linux over here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to reboot my Kali Linux okay and I have to go and boot it from Gparted. You might need to go to your BIOS in order to start this Gparted um, to change the boot menu sequence. But for my, me, I have already selected to boot it as a primary from CD-ROM and then go to the hard drive. So I'm going to get into Gparted over here now. Of course, it would take little time to load the files and related stuff in Gparted. Once I am loaded to Gparted, as soon as I get into it, it will ask me to select yes keyboard. Now it will ask me to select the language. Default is 33, which is English. Now here it says whether you would like to run force video or you would like to go to StartX. So I would like to go to StartX and I'll type 0 over here and it will run a desktop kind of environment for this once I'll get into the desktop it will automatically start gparted utility over here now if you see over here same kind of gparted is available but this time I'm not running using this route so if you see over here there is no star or anything over here um, swap was already turned off when I was doing partitioning before reboot so I don't need to turn it on right now now the simple way to extend this root partition is to click on resize and move right but before that I have to decrease the size of this particular partition so I for example I I would like to increase 10 GBs of um, partition over here so I can simply go here or yeah 10 GB is fair enough for now and okay and I'm going to resize it and say okay now you see I have unallocated space of 10 GB between these two now I'm going to resize this one and I'll just simply extend it and resize it now this small portion is also there maybe I can resize it again in order to in order to um, the small portion is there so I can just simply use this to resize it to eat up all the other remaining space over here and even if it is 1 MB space uh, it doesn't matter if you have this 1 MB available over here so it's 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 just simply simply fine you don't need to worry about it after that I just need to click on all operations apply and just wait for it to complete so it will take little time of course based on the size of your partition and of course this operation will be completed if you would like to see you can click on details to see what is going on over here um, but it's not required as such I would say anyways now this is completed and I can close this after this what I can do is I can simply turn on my swap okay now if I, I would like to do resizing it it, it's not that simple but anyways now I have done it I can just simply reboot this machine but before that I have to remove the media so I can just come over here I say connect it as this okay and I'll just reboot my virtual machine over here or even if I just disconnect come out of it I can exit from here also but for now I'm going to use my reboot over here and I am 
loading into Kali Linux like a normal load boot up process I would say okay Let's, let's wait for it to complete this boot up process and I just need to enter my okay Now you can see I'm logged into it. If I come over here and I say G parted, okay, you see now I have 20 GB. The other way to check it is go to terminal and say DF hyphen H and you can see that I have 20 GB of SD1 over here thank you so much for watching this walkthrough please use the comment section below to let me know if this solves your problem or this is what you are looking for and to discuss more about any of the technologies which I'm talking about thank you and stay blessed